For what purpose does the gentleman from Arkansas seek recognition? Mr. Speaker, I move to suspend the rules and pass the bill H.R. 2882, the Udall Foundation Reauthorization Act of 2023, as amended. The clerk will report to the title of the bill. H.R. 2882. A bill to reauthorize the Morris K. Udall and Stuart L. Udall Trust Fund and for other purposes. Pursuant to the rule, the gentleman from Arkansas, Mr. Westerman, and the gentlewoman from Michigan, Mrs. Dingle, each will control 20 minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Arkansas. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent that all members have five legislative days to revise and extend their remarks and to include extraneous material on H.R. 2882, the bill now under consideration. Without objection. I yield myself such time as I may consume. Mr. Speaker, H.R. 2882, the Udall Foundation Reauthorization Act, as amended, we would reauthorize the Morris K. Udall and Stuart L. Udall Foundation through 2028. Congress passed the Morris K. Udall Scholarship and Excellence in National Environmental Policy Foundation Act in 1992, intending to provide scholarships and internship opportunities for Native Americans. This program continues today and brings Native American students into the halls of government, providing opportunities for them to pursue public policy and work on issues that directly address their own experiences. In 1998, Congress broadened the scope of the Udall Foundation and created the United States Institute for Environmental Conflict Resolution. In 2009, Congress amended the act to add former Secretary of the Interior Stuart Udall's name to the foundation. The Udall Foundation was last reauthorized in 2019. In that reauthorization, Congress renamed the United States Institute to the John S. McCain III National Center for Environmental Conflict Resolution. <clears throat> the Udall Foundation currently supports several programs that encourage research and study related to the environment, American Indian and Alaska Native health care issues, and tribal public policy concerns. H.R. 2882 reauthorizes the Udall Foundation through 2028. This reauthorization maintains currently authorized appropriations and has been amended to make interest income from the trust fund subject to appropriations. The bill also requires the Department of the Interior's Office of the Inspector General complete an audit of the Udall Foundation within four years of passage. Past audits highlighted areas where the foundation was then able to strengthen processes within the foundation. I thank the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Siskamani, for his work on this bill, and I encourage adoption of the legislation, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Arkansas reserves the, the gentlewoman from uh, Michigan is uh, recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield myself as much time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of H.R. 2882. This bill will reauthorize the Morris K. Udall and Stuart L. Udall Trust Fund. The Udall Foundation was established as an independent federal agency in 1992 by Congress in honor of Mo Udall's contributions to our nation's public lands and natural resources and his support for tribal self-determination. In 2009, Congress honored Stuart Udall in the name of the foundation alongside his brother. The Udall Foundation's impact is monumental in supporting the next generation of environmental and tribal policy leaders. From the John S. McCain National Center for Environmental Conflict Resolution to the Native Nations Institute for Leadership, Management, and Policy, the Foundation serves a critical role in shaping public policy. In addition, the Foundation supports several educational programs, such as the Parks and Focus Program, fellowships, scholarships, and congressional internships. H.R. 2882 will ensure the Foundation remains an essential partner in tribal and environmental education. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this legislation, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. And Mr. Speaker, once again, uh, this is important legislation to reauthorize the Udall Foundation uh, to continue supporting Native American congressional interns as well as the research and study that goes along with that. Uh, and it also, as I mentioned earlier, uh, works with Native Alaskan health care issues and tribal public policy issues. Uh, this is a very important piece of legislation 
and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from uh, Michigan is uh, recognized. Mr. Speaker, I have no further requests for this time. We are prepared to close. The gentleman from Arkansas is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield three minutes to the gentleman from Arizona, Mr. Siskamani, the sponsor of the bill. The gentleman from Arizona is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Westerman, uh, my good friend, for yielding me the time to speak in support of my bill, H.R. 2882, the Udall Foundation Reauthorization Act of 2023. The Udall Foundation is a nonpartisan agency established by Congress in 1992, committed to the values of civility, integrity, and consensus, which are emblemic of how Mo Udall approached his 30 years of public service in this House. Emblematic of how Mo Udall approached the 30 years in this House. Since its creation, the Udall Foundation has done incredible work. They have awarded over 1,800 undergraduate scholarships to students pursuing careers in environmental public policy, tribal public policy, or native health care. They have placed over 300 Native American and Alaska Native students in summer internships on Capitol Hill and with federal agencies. And they have conducted over 800 environmental collaboration and conflict resolution assessments facilitated processes and trainings across all 50 states. My bill, H.R. 2882, extends the Udall Foundation's authority for five additional fiscal years through FY 2028. This reauthorization will allow the agency to promote public service through research, education, and service programs. Moreover, they will continue to foster leadership, education, collaboration, and conflict resolution in the areas of environment, public lands, native nations, and natural resources. I urge my colleagues to vote in favor of this common sense bipartisan legislation. And with that, I yield my time. Mr. Speaker, I again thank the gentleman from Arizona for sponsoring this important uh, legislation. I uh, am prepared to close. And I'll just say I urge adoption of the bill and yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields. Gentlewoman from Michigan is uh, recognized. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support the legislation and I yield back the balance of my time. The gentlewoman yields back. The question, will the House suspend the rules and pass uh, the bill H.R. 2882? Those in favor, ended. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, two thirds being in the affirmative. The yeas and nays are requested. All those in favor of taking this vote by the yeas and nays will rise and remain standing until counted. A sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20. Further proceedings on this question will be postponed.